don't try anything you see here at home. Today, we're looking at your eyebrows. Sand, what are you doing? And what is on your face? Do you like my new look? Mm -hmm. I, I thought I'd see if longer eyebrows suited me, but to tell the truth, I'm having a little trouble seeing anything. I can't find the mirror. I mean, you can look if you want, but I promise that you look absurd. And there's actually a good reason why your eyebrows are the length they are, and it's largely to stop them getting in your eyes. These aren't exactly practical, but if I style them a little bit... Did you know that every hair on your body has a set maximum growing length? Now, some of the hairs on your body, like your eyelashes or eyebrows, will have a much shorter maximum length compared to the hairs on your head. So, unfortunately, I'll never be able to grow my real eyebrows as long as this, which is a real shame. And, in fact, however long you try and grow the hair on your head, it will only ever get to its maximum growing length, too. And I have just the sample in the cupboard of everything to prove it. <laughs> Now, what I've got here is an amazingly long hair sample. Look, it's 110 centimetres long. Honestly, Zand, you have to start giving your samples their proper names. This is Anisha. Yeah, Anisha, sample, whatever. Now, Anisha, how long have you been growing your hair? One year. Wow, Anisha's hair grows as fast as Zand's eyebrows. We can tell what growing stage your hair is at by looking at one under a microscope. I need a sample. Anisha, would you mind? Sure, I've got this, Chris. Wow! Here you go. Thank you. What was that for? I needed a sample. You're the sample? <sighs> this freshly plucked hair from Zahn's head is still in the growing stage. It has a very dark root. This is where the cells are busy multiplying, making the hair grow longer and longer. For some of the hairs on your body, like the ones on your head, this can last for up to five years. Well, for other hairs on your body, like your eyebrows, it lasts for just a few months, always keeping them shorter. Right, Anisha, I think we need another sample. Oh, no, you don't. Don't worry, Zand. We'll just grab one that's fallen out already onto your shoulder. Here you go. This hair fell off Zand's head. Unlike the freshly plucked hair, there are no live cells around the root, so they're no longer multiplying like this one. This shows us the hair is old and stopped growing long before it fell out. Every hair on your body has a maximum growing length, and your body is amazing at knowing which hairs should be longer than others. Which is why your eyebrows should never, ever get into your eyes. Anisha, would you mind? Sure. Ow! Get back in the cupboard. Sand! So your eyebrows will always be short, but have you ever wondered what they're actually for? Ta-da! Sand, what have you done now? I'm just getting ready for our experiment. One of us needed to not have eyebrows, so ta-da! Oh, well, good job. Wait a minute! Is that my bathing cap? Uh, no, no. Th this is the Dr. Zand patented eyebrow eliminator. <laughs> Why is it blue? There was a mix-up at the factory? Mm. Throughout human evolution, we've lost much of the hair on our bodies, but our eyebrows still remain. Now, scientists argue that one of the jobs of eyebrows is to keep rain and sweat out of our eyes. But is this true? To find out, I'm going to drop water over Zahn's head as if there was a massive rainstorm or he was very sweaty. Oh, that's, that's very unpleasant. It doesn't feel like it's flowing down my face in the normal way. And what will happen with shampoo? Ah! <laughs> it's very peculiar. No eyebrows means the liquid flows straight into my eyes. But any good experiment needs a control, and in this case, the control has to have eyebrows, which means it's you. So it's Chris's turn. Let's see if having eyebrows does a better job of protecting his eyes. It certainly feels like most of the water is being guided off here and running down the side of my face. You can see that Chris's eyebrows are diverting the water flow around the side of his face. Whereas poor old eyebrowless Zand had liquid running into his eyes. And now, the final part of the experiment, the shampoo. <laughs> no, well, it didn't keep the shampoo out of eyes. <laughs> that really stings. So, eyebrows were good enough to keep water out, but they failed miserably with shampoo. Eyebrows are not 100% effective. Uh, can I have a little water rinse, please? We've shown you that every hair has a maximum growing length, so certain hairs, like eyebrows, are stopped from getting too long. 
and we've shown you that your brows are very good at protecting your eyes from things like rain or sweat. But they're not perfect. But we've kept them for another important reason. They're really useful at making good facial expressions and communicating with other people.